the things you can do to remodel a motor home. That's right. All it takes is a little bit of uh, ideas and somebody who knows what they're doing. <laughs> and I ain't that. Michael at work on a bunk bed. He is a carpenter in training. Yeah, I'm an apprentice. They call an apprentice for okay, a that's work. I'm learning from the master. I think it's time to shut the camera off. <laughs> Now they will stick through the back. So, so where, are we go where are we going? You're driving. It's your gas. <laughs> well, I tell you what, we can go no tell them where if you just I turn know. this thing over to me. Yeah, I would let's let's go. You you want to go to Alaska, don't you? Well let's I'm, go look at it. You want to? Yeah, let's go see. I what can't you get up now. I want to travel. We're down in southern Missouri. I want to travel. Yeah, let's go to Canada. Oh my goodness sakes. <laughs> This is my buddy Gary. Gary lives just right down the road from my parents' house. Whenever we was trying to think of guys who knew construction, who could build anything, who has the vision. You're a visionary, right? I guess. <laughs> but while you're telling all of it, I gotta get some rest. You go ahead and tell the story. Look at that. Go ahead. Uh, He's gonna get up there and I gotta it. test it to see if it'll hold up. A, how old is Grady? He's gonna be eight years old. Oh gosh. <laughs> So that's going to work. I believe it'll hold Grady up. So I got to tell you, this was the biggest struggle Lane and I have had about getting moved into the motorhome was how we're going to construct this back room because we wanted it to be very similar to how our kids' current bunk room is, but it just wasn't possible. Whenever we were coming up with different ideas, everybody was saying, no, that's not going to work because you're going to have to go into the wall and secure it and nobody wanted to do it. So we had to completely come up with a different plan where... Uh, we're going to put Chasen and Layla down here and we're going to divide them. We're going to have a divider in between here, which we haven't got constructed yet. And then we wanted Grady to be sleeping long ways just because we didn't want it coming out and filling up a lot of this space. And I couldn't figure out how to do it, but Gary, Gary knows. You sleep? Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, you've been trying to get carpenters. You need one that was also a draftsman. Yeah, that's right. Tell them what you do besides a little bit of carpentry. Uh, there ain't much I won't try. <laughs> get Actually, it. I'm even on a project right now for the first time. Are you? What is it? But I am not taking orders. Okay. No. But I am building my first kayak. Oh. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, that sounds awesome. But turkey calls. Oh. So I have a turkey call that I, I bought from Gary, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago. Can't wear them out. The, nah, best turkey, the best turkey call I've ever had in my life. As far as sound quality, it's amazing. Well, son, that's how you win awards at Nashville is with yeah, good calls. That's exactly right. I've Don't, got the medal on the wall. You have your you have your own YouTube channel, right? I've got a YouTube channel. There's about 20 videos. I'm going to, hey, and if y'all like gospel music, I'm getting ready to upload some of them before long. <laughs> you bet. The oldie stuff. Yeah. The good stuff. You even build instruments, don't you? For yeah. me. Yeah, for him. Not not to sell. What you do sell is your turkey calls. And you bet. Okay, which I'll have a link to those. If you're a turkey hunter like I am, I'll have the link to those. The best call maker, I think. And around. the phone number is BR549. BR549. BR54. You never watched Hee Haw in your life. I did watch Hee Haw. There will be some of your viewers that get it. <laughs> He's still a pup. Yeah, I'm a pup. What do you guys think about it? Oh, I rested up. So, I'm... the mirrors, we tried to get out couldn't come out they're like glued on so they're gonna stay but we put up uh, some plywood and then secured the back sides of the plywood that way when we're traveling it won't be having a lot of shifting, shifting and right and left right and then uh, we built the base along the bed and then just basically built a bunk which is a pretty simple design we just had to figure out what size for Grady and it's a custom it's not like I'm gonna have to make a mattress that'll make it work 
but custom customize it there you go custom we're, we're customized people as you can tell i bet you <laughs> we from southern missouri we do everything under a shade tree and can fix everything that's right that's right <laughs> Good job, feller. Woo! Woo! Okay, so what we're gonna be doing in here is we're gonna be painting the majority of everything white, just like how our other fifth wheel was. We're gonna put in some accent colors, um, and we're really excited about the paint we're gonna be using. I wanna show you guys this. So, in our search for the right paint, because I wanna tell you, the right paint matters. It really does. We've had a lot of people ask us in our fifth wheel, what paint did you use? And we went to Lowe's, Ask them what paint we should buy. But honestly, after time, it's worn off. There's places where we would touch that it just peels off. The paint's just coming off in spots. So we Googled the best paint, durable paint. And this is what we found. It's beyond paint. It's an all-in-one uh, Bondo primer and paint. It seals, it does everything. So it's a two coat thing. So I don't have to prime anything. In fact, I'm gonna put all this in the spray gun and just start spraying. And this is the first time we've used this. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but based on what we've seen online, this stuff is the best stuff. Now it's expensive, but it's gonna save time and money because you're gonna use less paint. That was one thing about our fifth wheel was that we would, it seemed like we'd run out of paint so fast and need to go get more at Lowe's. I'm excited to try this and see how it works. And hopefully it's gonna be way better than what we had in the fifth wheel. How's it going? It's going good. I'm good. I'm loving this Beyond Paint. It's working amazingly. It's spreading good. Uh, it's flipping I was incredible. I, it is. I was concerned about it using it in the spray gun because it's thick, but uh, it's it's going on really, really well, and I'm excited about it. In some places, I don't even think we'll need two coats. Oh, no. Absolutely not. So, it's good. It's going great. Going I like great. It. Lots of gold hardware needs to come off. Hey girl. Hey. You want to use a drill? What's a drill? Come here, I'll show you. Okay, go ahead and go. Good job, now stop. Okay, now we're going to go down here. Hold on, let me get it lined up in there. Okay. okay. Do it again. Oh, oh no. Do it again, it's okay. I almost got on the board. I am. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. My fault. No, that was my fault. Okay, try again. Good job. Okay, you got it. So as you see, our hardware is not our style. And so we were going to get all new hardware, but it was going to cost us like three, four hundred bucks to do so. So we're going to spray paint these dudes and call it a day. And we have all black. But anyways, that was easy peasy. I just gotta turn them over and do the other side in a minute. Well, so it's towards the end of the day now. I kinda wanna show you guys, give you a little update, tell you where we're at in the progress. We showed you earlier the bathroom, so we were painting it all white, 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 white. We go to the bathroom, toilet, painted cabinets white. And it's dark back here. Um, lights back here don't work very good for some reason. Everything back here is getting closer. I'm painting the cabinet doors outside right now, which I'm gonna show you. But we've got that done. And I painted the uppers white. And we're gonna paint the lowers a dark it's called pewter, but it's like a oh, charcoal color. Uh, more painting white. We're gonna do some wallpaper over here. And so that's about that for what we've done so far today. Feels good, progress has been pretty slow, but it feels good getting the things done that we got done. And so now I've got the cabinet drawers out, painting those white, uh, painting the rest of those white. I'm exhausted. Somebody's crying. It's been a long day. I don't care. 
it's like almost seven o'clock at night and uh, we're getting there we just gonna paint uh, the cabinets up here paint that up there and uh, my husband is a rock star rock star I've been painting all day now I will say it's way better painting with a sprayer than it is with rollers. Life changing. Yeah, it goes really, really fast. In the fifth wheel, I think we painted for four or five days with rollers and stuff. That's how long it took. Terrible. With this sprayer, I honestly believe that if we wanted to and stayed up till like three o'clock at night, we could probably spray this entire thing and be done. But that's not going to happen. We're going to wait and finish it up tomorrow. But Maybe. two days i think in two days we can have this thing completely sprayed so if you are renovating i do highly suggest get a sprayer and beyond paint is the best paint ever When you can't find a paint stick, so you use a arrow. <laughs> the kids will never know. This paint's too valuable to let it go to waste. So I'm gonna do a little <laughs> inch I can out of it. Absolutely. So let the journey begin. Let the fun begin. Day two of renovations. So the goal last night was to get all of our white done, and then today we're gonna focus on our accent colors, like the cabinets being the uh, dark pewter color. We've got another color called Nantucket that we're just going to use for accent in different areas so today's going to be that plus once we're done with the painting then we will put up the wallpaper i've got to get that glass down I'm trying to think of anything else we got to do today we just got a lot to do we're trying to get trying to get it done All right, I got them all off. I broke my first one and my last one. How's it going here, babe? Great. So this is the yeah. This is the Nantucket color. I love it. The tricky part's gonna be going down there by the carpet. It's all good. In the it's day. gonna look good. So we're doing the Nantucket uh, background, and then the doors are gonna be white. Uh, we're painting that dresser in the Nantucket. Uh, we're gonna do this trim in Nantucket. This paint. Those is are awesome. in Nantucket. It's great paint. Yeah, this Beyond Paint Seriously. applies really, really well. How did you even find that? Uh, I googled the very best paint to paint your RV with. <laughs> Creative, I yeah. know. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you found it because it was too. definitely worth it to get this Beyond Paint. It is expensive. You get what you pay for. Well, yeah, but that's the thing. You get what you pay for. But the thing is, is what we would typically buy in paint from Lowe's or Home Depot, I think we would have spent the same amount twice or three times as much. At least, yeah. That's but it, because say. it would have been more cans of paint, whereas this is it spreads. It spreads really, really well. Uh, we got two gallons of white. Then we got uh, this is the pewter, and then this is the Nantucket. Now the get the gallon of paint will spread they said it'll do 200 square feet two coats uh, we told them what we were doing sent them pictures of our rv told them how many uh square footage the length of everything cabinets we were going to be doing and they told us that what well, all we should need for this entire rv is two gallons of white uh this is a quart of pewter and then i think we actually got three pints yeah lane's got the other pint back there uh, three pints pints of Nantucket. So this was their recommendation For what we needed. So we'll see if this is enough. I think it will be when we painted our fifth wheel I, I honestly do not remember how many gallons of paint, but I remember we had to make a multiple trips To Lowe's to get more paint because we just didn't have enough 
because we had to prime so you primed it all and then you painted and so we went through probably three or four gallons of primer then went through three or four gallons of paint and you can imagine primer and paint being at 30 to 40 dollars a gallon maybe even more i can't remember whereas this is an all-in-one and we sprayed it on went on super good and now we're done so it cut our time in half cut the amount of trips we had to go to the store you can pick this up at home depot i believe you may have to order it and pick it up at the store but you can't pick this up there so as i mentioned before up in this area where this trim was there was like this carpet pad it was probably like a quarter of an inch thick and so when we ripped that out though they had glued it up there it just ripped out this cheap wood and so what i'm gonna do is we went to the store and we bought one buys uh, just a pine board mostly used people use them for trim and houses but we had it ripped in half and so now it's probably a one by four or one by two and so i'm painting those white we're gonna paint this the pewter color and then we're gonna have that one by covering those strips i think it'll be a good color combination have a little bit of an offset and so i've already got a couple of them painted white just a pine board had the lumber yard rip it in half and then we're just painting it with this beyond paint So it's time to start painting the kitchen cabinets, the lower parts anyway. We're going to do it the same color you see Lane is painting the pewter up on the trim here. And that's what's going to be going on down here. It's going to look great. I think the color contrast uh, of white to this pewter color is going to, it's going to mix well, don't you think, babe? I love it. Yeah, we like it a lot. Like it a lot. So I got everything taped off. Hopefully I did a good job and I won't get anything on the floor because we don't like stuff on the floor, do we? We do not. Oh. I think we should Nantucket or uh, pewter that piece of trim. I'd say Nantucket, and I think you should Nantucket those um, slats. I think that'd be adorable. <laughs> adorable? <laughs> <laughs> did I just use the word adorable? You did. <laughs> that'd be so adorable. It's the paint fumes, babe. It's yeah. the fumes. <laughs> I've been painting for two days. Using words like adorable. <laughs> All right, I can see right now this farmer's going to the hay bale. <laughs> the problem, <laughs> the problem with wallpaper is it's wallpaper. It's hard to put it up. Don't you put that on? Yeah, it's gonna be on YouTube. No, it ain't.